Well, welcome to, back to Minneapolis Lady Line Volleyball. We're getting ready for the second match of this tonight against the host Sacred Heart Knights here at the Knight Gym in Salina. The repeat here, the girls took the first match by a score of 25-19 and the second game 25-21. They had to come from behind in that one to win by four. They were down 6-0 to start that game. And so they had to crawl back into it, which they did, and took the lead in the mid-teens and never relinquished it. But, uh, Mike and I were discussing their, probably some of the bigness, biggest weaknesses we saw in that first match uh, in Lady Lines Volleyball was the ability to dig on the back row with their defense there and hope that we see some improvement on that. Front line play is pretty solid, Mike. Yeah, we're, we're tough up front. And we've got pretty good uh, lateral movement up front uh, to block, but it seemed like we couldn't cover in the middle. And, uh, you know, they got a few in on the corners. Uh, we weren't really able to uh, get outside like I thought maybe we should, but then when we did, it left the middle open, and uh, they did drop a couple in in the middle on us. Of course, early on in the season, this is just their third night of volleyball. And I'm sure Coach McCulloch is still kind of checking out some of the athleticism as some of the other girls have and how she could best utilize them later on in the year because uh, there will come a time when uh, you get into those tight, tight matches and you know you need a good defender in that back row or a good pass to the front that you haven't been getting. And uh, mm -hmm. she can rely on some of these underclassmen to come up and, and give her some help there. And there are some uh, pretty good girls in that JV squad. Introductions here. Probably the national anthem and a prayer too, be my guess. And your home team, the Sacred Heart Knights. As a reminder, we like everyone to remember Rule 52, which deals with the heart of sportsmanship. Please cheer for your team and not against the other team, and let's make tonight an enjoyable experience for everyone. And now, if you please stand and remove your Well, the blessing has been said. Invocation and the national anthem. We're ready for some volleyball. Hey, we'll introduce the starters from Minneapolis. Number five, Jay Allison. She'll play in the middle, up front. She played all the way around first game, first match. Zoe Wolzencroft 
She's a senior, but she's six foot tall. She'll play in the middle. Minneapolis outside hitter, Kylie McKinney. Getz, they do call it Getz, J.C. Getz. Well, set. And for Minneapolis, Lindsey Shoup. Scale mentioned eight, out five, playing five, volleyball this year. Lindsay Number eight for Cat. Sacred Heart is Mackenzie Cat. She's a 5'9 junior. junior. For Minneapolis, uh, the outside hitter, J.D. Lott. Lott's a junior. On the other side, Maggie Dole. She's a senior. And for Minneapolis. Kennedy Allison will set quite a bit for Minneapolis. And for Sacred Heart, number 10, Kelsey Dole. And the middle on the other end, or on the other rotation, is Nicole Forte. And Sacred Heart plays number 15, Miranda Dietrich, or Gabrielle Dietrich. Courtney Walker is the libero, as Dale mentioned in the first match, but did not get into the contest. Minneapolis played all the way around with six. That's kind of unusual, no subs. Very unusual. And in a hot gym, especially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't really uh, appear winded or uh, no. needing breaks either, so. And I'm sure Coach McCulloch would like to get out of here with a sweep on the varsity side of oh, this yeah. thing. Give the Lions a nice step up in the league here. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'm looking at the basketball team down there, Dale. I think the girls ought to look pretty good oh, on yeah. the basketball yeah. court as well. Yeah. I talked with uh, Coach Weatherman a little bit over the summer. And he was very excited that uh, one stretch <coughs> they had beaten both Salina South and Salina Central in the same day. Of course, neither squad maybe had all their members with them, but uh, still happened. Still happened. So they they were quite excited about that. Sacred Heart won the flip, and they're going to serve first, and <coughs> it will be J.C. Getz at the service line. Of course, I had to raise my daughter-in-law, who's a Central grad, Central <laughs> alumni on basketball team. Wow, who did they have playing, you know? <laughs> right on. <laughs> you got to throw a barb when you get it. <laughs> uh, Getz will serve for the Lady Knights. And the second match of the evening is underway on the varsity side. Getz, left-hander, winks it on over, a nice bump. Pass by Kylie McKinney. That block stepped it right back in our backcourt, and that one's out of bounds as Jadra Lott whistles a cross-court kill attempt. Just a little bit outside the line. Gets still at the service line. McKinney with another nice pass to the front. Shoop setting on the front row. with the set. Shay Allison tips it up. They get it over somehow. And we, sh and we do get it to drop on their side. Kind of thought our tip ought to go back to the corner. as wide open, wouldn't it? Yep. Shay Allison serving. One to one here in the early going. Shoop tracks that one down. Bump set. By Lindsay Shoup, excuse me, that was uh, Allison that tracked it down over there. Kennedy Allison. They all get their hair pulled back. It's tough sometimes to tell who it is. Got served by Shea Allison, gives the ball right back to Sacred Heart, 2-2. First game of the second match. Oh. We're going to have to dial back in. We're not on then. It's, we won't be in a minute.
Side out to Minneapolis, shoot, serve out the back line. Side out to Sacred Heart as Garcia, or excuse me, Alvarez comes back in. 3-3. Six. Allison with the pass to front, Nicole Forte with the attack in the middle. Allison with a little more authority. That's out, the back. And side out to Minneapolis, 4-3, big blue. That's how far Sacred Heart's playing with us. A couple of service errors by Minneapolis, though, has given the service right back to Sacred Heart. Now J.D. Lott, that jump serve, and the ball's down as it gets in front of Shea Allison. For all. Four, four. Serve over and good shape. Back set by Allison and Nicole Forte sets it on across. They're in the net. Side out to Minneapolis. Nicole's nice serve is a low liner. Had some heat on it, Maggie Dole. Pounds one down in the middle, 5-5. Five, five. Dole at the service line, nice pass by Shoup. McKinney with a nice attack from the outside is handled on the back row. And Nicole Forte makes a Gallant attempt at that one at the stage point, Sacred Heart. Shoot with a good pass. Shea Allison with a nice attack at the net. Her kill attempt goes out the back line, point, Sacred Heart. Maggie Dole. She's been through it for the Knights. Not a good pass that time. It went out the side. And Sacred Heart jumps out to a three point lead. Dole, as I mentioned, uh, I think she's had probably at least two knee surgeries that I'm aware of. Well, now, are you thinking of the older sister or this one? Maggie. Okay, because I know her older sister had some too. Yeah. Nine to five here as we take a break. Timeout. The Lions see if they can squelch this momentum that the Knights are building up in this first game of the match. Well, it's trouble on the back row. The passes are not very accurate, I should say. They're going outside and they're not getting it to their setter. So you cannot build an attack at the net without that ball up there and it's not getting there right now. So we're kind of letting uh, Sacred Heart stay in this thing. As we mentioned earlier, uh, I know most of you have been here in the Sacred Heart gym where it's been about 139 degrees. Very comfortable here tonight. Which Not bad at all in here for a 95 degree day. Even in the winter time in a basketball game, it's short sleeve weather up mm -hmm. here. Serve over in good shape. There's a nice pass by Nicole Forte. Now we get to attack the net and McKinney pounds one down. As we finally get a good attack going there as a good setup as McKinney gets set about three foot away from that net. Hits the winner, side out to Minneapolis. Back set. Sacred Heart. And we do get it over as the first pass went backwards. We recovered though. 
Now here we go, here's a chance. McKinney, it's blocked at the net. And they knock it through the block. That's number eight, that's Cack. Side out to Lady Knights. 10-6. Knights. Gabrielle Dietrich back in, number 15. She'll play front row. Out, let her go, girls, and they do. Kennedy took one look at that and yelled out, and they let it go. Side out and point to Minneapolis. Well, I didn't catch what happened here. Knights and fractions. That rotation oh, issue. The number 14 was on the wrong side of the court. Uh -huh. A quick halt to the action was called by the referees. Gave the Lions a point. Draws Either them that or she stepped over that line before that ball was served. Yeah, stay. And they're back in position now. McKinney serve. We're in the net as we try to block the tip and looked like Cack got over the top of everyone over there. Is it Cack or Dietrich? Gets serves rather well. She plays the back row. And the six footer back in on the front row. That'd be Wolves and Croft. I can break her set early on here. They tap it back. Wolves and Croft again. Shea tried to tip it over, and the six footer on the other side tapped it right back in the vacant spot. 12 to 8, Sacred Heart. That's why she comes in to serve, very consistent. There we go. Jade Rulot gets set on the outside and she ends that streak. <coughs> it's just imperative, Dale, that uh, Jadra gets a pretty good look mm -hmm. when we're on the attack. Pretty decent serve there by Shea. Tipped over, that was almost out. Now Kennedy sets it on over. That's going to go under the net as Cack makes a good attempt at saving better than the principal over there with his foot, foot save. Draws many kick apples save. back within two, 10 to 12. We were told to kick save earlier in the first match by J. Lott. That's legal. In the last three to four years. As long as you don't lift it with your foot. Minneapolis just way out of sorts on the defensive end. Now, there's a good attack. Out. That attempt goes wide. It's and 13. the side out to Sacred Heart. 13-10, Knights. Not a good pass once again on the back row there. That was a nice serve, though, by Mackenzie Cack. She's headed for the same spot again. A little better pass this time. Cack, nice block. Nicole Forte and Sheep over there for the stuff kill. And landed just inbounds. 11 to serve 14. Good call, Dale. Shoot. Serve over in decent shape. Cack just sets it to the back row. Now, here we go. Thank you. You bet. Oh! It's tipped. The guy called it out, but I thought it was in. But Rose Whitman thought it was in. Evidently, we got a tip at the net, Dale. Four, 
Here's a setup once again. This time, Jager just bumps it over. They're in the net. 13, serving 14. She was circling around to get to the back row and ran into the net. They bump it on over. This is a good chance for Minneapolis right here. A lot right on the outside. And what a dig on the back row by Cack. Lot take that took that overpass right on over, but unable to get it back to the back corner. And we play on. Let's try that again. Thank you. Tied at 14 now. Again, the Lions have crawled back from a deficit. Just so important while. Jadra is playing front row, then the other girls can hit. But Jadra can really hit. <laughs> Wolzencroft got a little bit too far into the net, tried to lean back and hit that one over, and it did not go. Minneapolis all of a sudden out to one point lead, Dale. They've crawled back and taken the lead about the point where they took the lead in the uh, second game of the first match. Right at about 15. It's a little surprising. We'll take a short break here. A word from our sponsors here. Stop into Jeans IGA and experience shopping with the promise of neighborly service from people you know and trust. Jeans IGA, your hometown grocery store, supporting your hometown Lions. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lion Backers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Well, Dale, just short trip this Friday down to Lindsburg, as you mentioned. See American Sacred Family Heart. Insurance. Sacred Heart Minneapolis football this week will be what is considered Sacred Heart's home field this year down at Lindsburg at the college it's always a good venue and as you mentioned uh, probably the first time ever minneapolis played on artificial turf so that's another good reason to go down and watch not that far it's really not oh my we let one drop in between the middle and the back row there ties it at 15. Alvarez back in to serve for Lady Knights. Over in good shape, almost the overpass, but oh, what a shot by Kennedy Allison. And one nice swing, she put it just inside the line on the sideline, Point Minneapolis. Cross court, and inbounds. Now we're rolling. Cack, nice dig by Shea Allison. Jade Rillot bumps it over. Wolzencroft. Nice pass, Jade Rillot. And McKinney gets there somehow to tip that one over. Here we go. McKinney with a good setup. Dole with a nice dig. What a nice dig there for Lot. Lot saves that one, pancakes out. They tip it into the middle. Nice volley going on here. Now Nicole Forte has her attempt in the middle stuffed. And it drops on our side point and side out to Sacred Heart. 16 all. Nice change up, big girls. Rodriguez in to, there we go. Forte with a good left hand, tips it over and Lady Knights are unable to handle that. Cross court winner, it goes out of bounds point, Minneapolis. And as most times, yes, what a serve. Forte's low liner, they could not pull it up off the floor on the back row, Point Minneapolis. Forte serving for Minneapolis, 18-16, big blue. 
There's another one. Now the setup. Allison in the middle. It's in. The Lions take a three-point lead now, 19-16. Getting a little roll going on. <clears throat> Forte still at the service line. Oh. Spoke too soon, Mike. <laughs> 17 serve I'd like 19 to now. I've seen that one go over and grab a little tape. Yeah. Maggie Dole. Ooh. They could have called the lift on that set by Allison, but they didn't. Back set. Shea Allison. They get there. And we cover on the back row. A lot. Now Shea Allison again. They're in the net. Allison pounded it down anyway. Point Minneapolis, 2017. Kennedy serves. Oh, they hit her into the net. <coughs> Mackenzie Cack, Coach Whitman wants a timeout as Minneapolis has jumped out to a four point lead, 21 17. Yeah, it seems like we played from behind in every match, every, every game of every match so far. The well, varsity girls. these last two for sure. Uh, the first game in the first match, we were out from the very beginning. But <clears throat> these last two games, second game of the first match and this first game of the second match, we've had to come from behind. And it really was, uh, like I say, around at the 14, 15 point mark before we were able to catch up in both of them. The, giant, the Knights jumped out to an early lead in both those match, those, both those games. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Coach McKin uh, McCulloch will sub any in the still second, no, Still no game. substitutions at still all. Still no it? change in rotation. Fairly young team as far as playing together. As we mentioned, Shoup didn't play with them last year. Forte did not play varsity. And neither did Shea Allison. She did get in somewhat on the front row later on in the year. Uh, McKinney gets it into the net. But Knights draw within three. McKinney did play quite a bit. You expect big things from her and Jadra Lott this year, that's for sure. And the steady play of Kennedy Allison. pass by Forte. That just didn't look very good as they tried the short set to Shea Allison, but if you're going to tip a short set, you're asking for trouble. You're just going to put it at the tape. You need to pound it. 19 serving 21. Jadra Lott tips it on over now. Sacred Heart on the offense. They pound her down. You have to get the set up so you can get an attack at the net. If you're going to set it on over, you give the other, your opponent, big advantage. 20 to serve, 21. That pass over is easy for them to handle, and they can get it to their setter. One pass up and down. Jadra's pass in good shape. Now McKinney in the middle to Shea Allison. It's a chance for us right here. Once again, we've had two attacks at the net. We nice save a lot. Jadra Lott, where'd she come from? Over in the right corner. Good. <laughs> our center. Reef. Back rear center. A nice attack by McKinney. We need to pound it down just like that. Oh, and Dole hits it right into the net. Puts the Lions back up by two, 22-20. McKinney at the service line. Over in good shape. Nice serve by Kylie McKinney. Cack. 
Out of bounds. It was in in length, but on the sideline, evidently it was out on the sideline because the head ref had the call on the chair. 23-20. Oh, the service error. Not a good time for that. Two substitution, substitutions in for the Knights. Wolzencroft comes back in. Gets at the service line. A pretty decent server. Left-hander. Sit over in good shape. We don't get a good attack at the net, that's for sure. Now there's a setup. Thank you. J.J. Lott gets a good look. And there's another in. one. That's in. We're in on the rear back line. Just Game point. inside the line, wasn't it? Game point, 24-21. Finish, girls. Serve over good. Back set. Down it goes. Cack with the winner. 22 to serve 24. And Cat goes to the service line. Yeah, that was blocked that on the way there. there. That took care of it. Yep. Out to the Lions, and they will get the win, 25-22. So they come from behind again, take this first game of the second match. See what we can do to... Take home game two of this second match as quick as possible. Mike <laughs> and I have to get our beauty sleep. Well, Sacred Heart's just right there in every game so far. Rose Whitman got a pretty good team. They're improving, and so are we, though, as each game goes along. Yeah, we saw, I think, uh, a little bit better defense on the the back line with some of those serves that were coming across low. S still not as strong as you'd like to see it, but uh, they had some good saves back there. We did. We got in into a, a rotation at one point where we had a little lull, laps uh, right off the get-go, and then went later on in the game, but for the most part took control early on we will take a break hear a word from our sponsors and be right back agent scott osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof the scott osherman agency in minneapolis proudly supporting the lions eagle communications home of ectv high speed internet 910 kina and 99 kg country is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lion Sports on SalinaPost.com. Stop into Jeans IGA and experience shopping with a promise of neighborly service from people you know and trust. Jeans IGA, your hometown grocery store, supporting your hometown Lions. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. See American Family Insurance agent Scott Osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis proudly supporting the Lions. Clock just keeps on going. What was Scott's take of the football game? I think we both kind of had the same opinion. <laughs> Impressed. Obviously needs for improvement, but, you know, typical first game, especially with the penalties. Quite a few there in the first half, I heard. Yeah, procedure penalties and... Block it in the back, stuff like that. 
And I think it's very standard, especially on high school level, to see procedure penalties in the early games. Any running game up the gut? Yeah, some. Uh, it's, it's primarily Mortimer, uh, Kane and Smith somewhat. But uh, Fleming's in the line, so no running by Jake Fleming. He can rumble. Yes, he can. Well, he's a physical presence up front, and Jake can play about anywhere you want to put him. He could take the snap and uh, pitch out if you had to. Uh, he's just a pretty gifted athlete in many aspects. The football, basketball, he's got heart. Second game of the match, McKinney leads off to serve. You always hope your middle doesn't get close enough to the net to touch that thing, and Coach Mack says, yeah, just reach out a little bit. Good start to this game. Minneapolis one nothing. Yeah, we've got a rotation issue once again over here. Oh, for the Knights, yep. Two old lady lines. We'll take it. That's happened a couple times with their they're out rotation. Big hit from the lady nice goes out the back line. Point Minneapolis. McKinney just solid at the service line here tonight. Puts one right up on the chin of Goal. Nice save by McKinney. Cole Forte gets it back to Kennedy Allison. They bump it over and Sacred Heart on the attack as Cack. Pounds one through the defender and side out to Sacred Heart. One to serve four. I don't remember the Wolves and Croft girl being six foot tall last year. Wolves and Croft in. Shoot. Primary setter. Forte with a good pass. Allison takes it. Now Jade a lot. Well, the thing that's, she must have been, or else she must not have been here. She's not, uh, it's not like she's gangly or uncoordinated for her size. She's, her muscle build fills out her height well. Um, it's not like she just grew a lot all of a sudden. I remembered her being skinny, but she well, was maybe small, she was. Was real maybe skinny. She was just I don't, she wasn't six foot by any stretch. I oh. mean, she's more like 5'9", as I remember, but. I remember her, but. Well, 5'9 to 6 foot isn't all that big of a group. I mean, it's quite a few, yeah. but it's not like putting on 6 or 7 inches. True. 6 like to 1, Lady Lions here. Like Brandon Comfort did after he graduated. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 6 one and a half, maybe 6 2 in high school, and he gets out of college 6 6 and a half. <laughs> Minneapolis yep. uh, playing strong here to start this uh, second game of the second match. Minneapolis would, as Dale mentioned, like to do this in two. I'm sure Rose Whitman is not in any hurry to go home and watch TV. I'd like to see her girls come back and make a game of this. Shay Allison will serve. Over in good shape. Overpass. Here's a setup, just what we wanted. I get it right back to Jade Rulot, and she takes care of business. 7 1 Minneapolis. Line judge would not go after the ball. 
Serve over in good shape. Shea with another nice serve. Oh, that's nice a block. Clean. Olsencroft should not and Forte. pound it through the block of Shoup and Forte. And then she was called with a lift. Tries to come over again. Prime example of the back row passing right there, the last three points Minneapolis have scored. Uh, Sacred Heart just not getting a good pass to the front row. Wheels are kind of coming off of the Knights right now. Nine to one, Minneapolis. Nice set, Forte's turn at the net. She pounds it down, but Lady Knights cover well. We push it on over and it drops on their side. Point Minneapolis. Lady Knights just wearing down or they kind of lost their mo? I would think probably a little both. We've seen that happen at times before, different squads. Boy, we had five teammates right there in the square, little corner. We knock it over the line. It's two to 10 now. The Knights serving. Kenzie Cack. Jade Lott with another try, and that time Wolzencroft gets a hand on it. And then Dole pounds it through the block over here and down on our side point, Lady Knights. They're not done yet. Forte, it's there. Nicole Forte. Finds the corner with that winner. Well, it would be very unusual for a, a Rose Whitman team to, to lay down. Right. Yeah. She'll pull three or four off the bench before that happens. <laughs> Shea with a nice pass to the front row. Nicole back. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know it's going good when you bump it backwards and it lands right in the corner for a winner. We'll take it. Another rotation problem here for the Knights. It's the alignment. That one person over here in this corner is sneaking in too far. 13 and to three. Oh, he had plenty of time to bump it back up. Sometimes you don't know where it's going when you throw the fist into it, and that's where it went out of bounds. Side out to the Lady Knights. Alvarez comes in to serve. Four serving 13. That one didn't make it over. Jadra pounds one on the tape, comes back on our side. Point, Sacred Heart. Alvarez, a pretty good server. Out. Nice back set by Kennedy Allison. Uh, Jade Lott gets to the net, but her cross court shot is wide of the mark. Six serving 13. That's all right. Nicole Forte pounds one down. I'll break that service. This game is uh, so far, Nicole Forte is doing good things up on the front row. 14 serving six. In the net it goes, service error. That jump serve by Jade Lott didn't make it over. Rodriguez in to serve for the Lady Knights. She dinks it in. McKinney with a big bash. Again, this time it's going down the, uh-oh. Well, sprained ankle or something over here. Knee. Number eight. That's Cack. McKenzie Cack. She's getting ready for the knee to pop back in. There it went. 
He's up and walking on it. Must have happened before. Yowie. I'm surprised you're able to walk on it after it comes out of the joint. Me, I would, uh, well, I won't tell you what I would do. It is 15 serving seven. Kind of have to head off to the locker room. Come on, ladies. They dink one in. We're not there. 8th to serve 15. Go ahead, Dale. I just about said the score backwards. <laughs> Jade Rillot with a nice attack from the back row. And Cax attack at the net goes in the net. Point Minneapolis. Knights of or the Lions have doubled the score, 18 to 6. I'd like to 16 to 8, excuse me. Extend it to a two-digit lead here. Just Oh, nice what a dig. Jade Rillot and then McKinney hammers one over. In, in on the back corner. Wow, that was a nice shot. <coughs> I think that was Dole. Nine to serve 16. Nice pass by Allison. That one's going out the back. On a nice attack at the net by McKinney. And she'll go to the back row to serve. 17-9, timeout Rose Whitman is granted. Sacred Heart Lady Knights with a quick timeout. Minneapolis leading by eight here. Second game, second match. This is for the sweep. Lady Lions would uh, like to take two here from the Lady Knights. As Dale mentioned, a nice, nice start to the league season. Well, yeah, I, I would say right now the Lions haven't beat Southeast of Saline in that non-league contest. Uh, taking care of traditional power, the Knights here uh, ought to be fairly, fairly good Pretty in the good league. Shape. Uh, you hate to speculate. <laughs> you don't know what Bloyd has. Republic County is sometimes good. Mm -hmm. Ellsworth's going to lose a lot. Ellsworth. Well, th they've lost a lot with that senior class gone. Oh, by all means, yeah. <coughs> that was a big senior class. Russell, for them. Russell might have a r good squad. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the, I don't know if they've lost their height. Another rotation problem for the Knights. Wow, three in one game. Or Rose. I'm gonna add some gray hairs to her already accumulation there. The score is double at 18 to nine. The referee's a little particular, but she knows how she wants to see it. And Rodriguez, if she's at another half an inch further back, she's on the line. That will be another one. Over the in line into the the stage. It's now 19 to nine, Minneapolis. Now we have that 10 point advantage. Oh, nice, nice block. block. Shoop and Shea Allison over there with big block. Lindsey Shoop set. Shea Allison. Oh, it's coming our way, Dale. Oh, what a save. That net wouldn't have been there. That ball would have been in our lap. Yep. Jade Rilotto will take care of that, though. 20 to 9. Went off of number four. Grace Ivy. Out of bounds. 20 to 9, as Mike says. Kylie McKinney. Yes, hey. sir. Service air gives the ball right back to the Lady Knights. Wolzencroft back in, along with. Back in for the Knights, number two, Zoe Wolzencroft. Number three, JC Getz. Getz. Why Getz? can't I remember her name? Getz. Getz is the way they're saying it, huh? And she'll go to the service line. Good server for him. 
she has been solid both matches. We set it on a cross shoot. Now the setup on the outside with Lott. Pounds it through the block of Rosencroft. And out of bounds it goes. It'll be Point Minneapolis. 21 to 10. Shay Allison at the service line over in good shape. McKinney covers the back row. Lot hesitates and just sets it over. We get a hand on that as Cack gets to the line. They aren't going to get too much of a hand on that as Jager Lot hammers it to the back row. Point. Kelsey Dole got a hand on it, but it point Minneapolis. 22-10. That set went over, and Jader Lott just leaned back and pounded it right back over. It tapped it over, I should say, and hoped it landed. It just barely landed out of bounds. Oh, my. Woo. Nice dig by Shea Allison that landed where the Knights weren't looking. Got just enough on it to get it over the net. It was an overpass. Overpass, and... The Knights, as Dale mentioned, were not close to get to it. 23-11. Well, that's a big block that time by Wolzencroft. Got right in front of Jader Lott. As Lott come to the net with authority, but it landed on our side. Stuff kill for the Lady Knights. Side out and point to the Lady Knights. Kennedy Allison uh, reaches back with the right hand and knocks it over. Their pass from the back row goes in the net. And we're Match where point. we want to be. 24-12. How about an ace, Jadra? Jump serve. They handled it on the back row. Now the attack by Wolzencroft. Overpass. Kennedy Allison served it right in, or uh, set it right into the net. And she had went over the line on the, <laughs> the previous bump. No call. It's 13 to 24, Knights are with the serve. Rodriguez in. See if she can gain a little ground here for the Lady Knights. McKinney with a big hit. It's blocked. McKinney was in the net. Makes it 14 to serve 24. Rodriguez at the service line. Nice pass by Shoup, set by Allison. That's going That's down. it. McKinney gets it over. Knights can't handle it. That's the way that one ends, this match, 25-22 and 25-14. Minneapolis victorious here tonight. Sweep in two. Sweep the Knights at home, at their home. That's pretty good, pretty good. And I'll take a, can't be a decisive lead in the, <laughs> the league this early, but uh, they're in the top half now with uh, the two game win, two match win Absolutely. over the Knights here. It's off, the league season's off to a good start with this. Well, we have a home game next Tuesday. I don't remember who, but we're, we're on it. Um, uh, I was thinking it was Beloit already, but we'll check it out. And the uh, football team is at Lindsburg this Friday to take on the Sacred Heart Knights. So Mike and Dale will be at Minneapolis next Tuesday for the volleyball, and Scott and Dale will be at Lindsburg this Friday night for football. So we appreciate, as always, you listening to us on Eagle Communications Channel 20 and SalinaPost.com. Uh, encourage your alliance, support them in person as much as you can. They deserve your support. With that, I'm going to bid you a fond good night, Dale Leach. And, and Mike Perry. Good night, folks. <laughs>